We want you to see it as if you are saying, goodness, I have this huge gigantic mansion and I have inherited this. I am going to have to remodel it and make it how I want it to be. I am going to go room to room to clean out and see what is here and what I am wanting. And when you see it you can say, I remember this. This happened then and this happened then. Do not feel guilty. Do not worry about it. Allow yourself to observe all that is coming up and to marvel at the dramas that you have put into your life. They are there to teach you. These teachings you have been involved with, that are your own creation, are coming again to show you so that you can review all that you are. Doing this for this lifetime and loving yourself and saying, goodness, there were times when I was a bit foolish here. Or, goodness, there were times when I didn't know what I was thinking of there. I guess I was really having my head turned on backwards there. This is the most amount of judging we want you to do. Be gentle. Love yourself. Don't feel guilty. See who else was involved in your scenario. Look as if you are sitting in the audience and do a big clapping for the part that you played so beautifully. Present yourself with an Academy Award here and there, for doing such a good job of portraying a role. See what the story is about and say, I have got it. I see the purpose that I was working for. This process is going to come furiously fast. Let it come. Allow it to cleanse your body. In a few moons you will have an opportunity, or already have taken a journey to a new portion of the world where you will go and look into past activities of yourselves because you are needing to heal the entire soul of your being and to accept with completeness. Love who you are. Question, when you love yourself do you attract situations that will show you? Pleiadians, because you are committed and because you have decided to carry light, and because you have decided in this lifetime to do a journey that is not the easiest of journeys, but it certainly is the journey that is the most rewarding, there will be certain challenges that will test you, to test your worthiness of commitment to be included in a certain echelon of leaders. That is what you are doing. So be easy on yourself. When those feelings get stirred up inside of you and it seems as if they want to steamroll or you, say to yourself. These feelings are my teachers. I will not be afraid of them. They have something to show me. And I will learn. I will change. I am flexible. I am courageous. And I am committed to myself. All of you, be easy on yourselves. Love yourselves. We Pleiadians came to be involved with this experiment so that we could enhance our own service to ourselves. As you grow, you are our family. You are us and we have come to gather you together and to teach you who you are, so that you can take your rightful place within the family of those that your prime creator has formulated, so that you can see the unlimited potentials that await you. As we teach you, and as each one of you dares to try to do something that you thought you could not do, and as each of you moves a bit closer to honoring and loving yourselves, we grow. You add to what we are. And so, your success makes our success. Our journey is contingent upon your commitment to yourselves. So we have a big stock in who it is that you are. And we do not want to see any crashings. Do you understand? The lesson that you are to learn, the only lesson that there is, is the lesson of love. That love will give you the opportunity to go anywhere. Go about your days in joy, in safety, and in harmony and step into that great unknown with love. You have heard us say that all is true according to the perception, and, that, reality is far beyond what you can conceive of. There is a vastness that is ever growing and expanding. There have been on your planet quite a few humanities who have figured out the rules and have learned a little bit better than other humanities how to create, how to bring about what they are wanting and how to become manipulators, rulers, and designers of the game themselves. Your planet started off with a certain plan in mind. That plan was to design a new world where there would be great exchanges of information. The great computer-like mind connected a crystal network of information that would beam out in this galaxy as a storehouse perhaps. It was an exchange center. A world was designed that was beautiful because this information was going to be held in the cells of each and every creature and molecule of consciousness that existed here. Consciousness was going to be endowed within all things. In the vast expansion of creation, 
many different forms of sentient beings exist. They are all playing what you would call the mind game. The prime creator, first cause, was, or so it seems, the originator of the mind game. The prime creator thought itself into the reflected state and moved so that it could see itself so that it could prove to itself it existed. It created outside of itself. And so the game has gone. Even the prime creator continuously surprises itself with the new rules and the new possibilities of this substance that has been endowed with consciousness. The forms of this substance continuously mutate and change and even the smallest portion of being has new potentials. Within this mind game that all existence plays, the rules constantly change. That is part of the game. What is occurring on the planet at this time is that you are being instructed and given information because the rules have changed. It is time for large numbers of humanity to call on their own innate knowing, to bring about their own beautification of development, to step wisely and to learn to play with all of the abilities. You have heard us, say, to become aware of what you present to yourselves. Every portion of the material that is outside of you determines how you are going to feel and how you are going to set the parameters of your experience and what you are going to allow yourselves to put within your lives. What you see is determined by what you believe is possible. You are in a double bind so to speak, for you wish to change what you believe to be possible about yourselves and yet you do not quite know how to change what you are perceiving. Codings are inside of each and every one of you. They, are being reactivated by some of those ancient creators who brought your planet into being when they were playing with their own godhood. There have been many struggles over the territory of this, your earth sphere, terror. Many have come here and reigned and have utilized the rules of the game and developed societies according to how they wished humanities to perceive. You have been very often the product of a few individuals designing the mass humanity experience. Once again you are involved in this. This time, you are being told that you can be liberated through your own thinking and through your own perceptive abilities. We wish to push you further into this so that you can truly realize what your boundaries are and realize that every portion is part of the game. Question, do these creators compete against each other and have their creations make war on each other? Pleiadians, there have been competitions. There have been vast amounts of information kept from the public freeans. There have been humanities who have known the capabilities of mankind. You find yourself attempting to expand your capabilities, yet you fight and deny that you even have them. The time has come for you to tap into this. Those greater humanities who you have called gods, those more expanded beings, have indeed made their own rules for the mind game. Within those rules they designed societies where mankind was not encouraged to a state of independence. Think about the history of your world for the last 2000 of your years and look at the different societies. What did these societies do? How many encouraged freedom? How many encouraged independence? How many societies work with the idea of suppression? You have heard us say that you live in the United States, the land of the free or so you think. We are not here to start a revolution, we are here to expand what you believe to be possible and to assist you in your own growth and to turn you ultimately to yourselves and your own answers. There is nothing more to believe in than yourself. When you believe in a God that is so outside of yourself you are not acknowledging the God that is within you, that has been your birthright. This is a major state of awareness for each and every one of you to move into the holiness of your own being. Each and every one of you are all that you need to believe in. When you believe in yourself, expand what you think you are, you begin to learn the rules of the great mind game and then you are up there with the big guys. Question, I have been in a massive state of confusion, going back and forth from one belief system to another. Pleiadians, when you are about to make a change, in general, you will go through a bit of disorientation so that you can come to a greater understanding of yourself. Also the disorientation has to do with the releasing of old behavior, with the relinquishing of control, because wherever you are, in whatever state of development, there is a certain amount of control. The control forms the boundaries of what you think is safe behavior, and safe avenues to traverse. So when you are about to make a change you have to allow that to come down and reevaluate what you think is okay for you as humanities to do. 
and you become impatient and you cannot understand why it has taken you a long period of time to move from one state to another. It is quite simple. You are not making the decision. The ideas that you are sending out to yourself are not clear. It may seem to you that it is clear. You do not understand how intricate your thoughts are and you think you make one statement and this is going to create and you can forget about it and make all the other statements that are going to uncreate it. Only you do not hear those. Your thoughts are like fog and they seep out from you into all forms. And they always seek to expand, to be out there in territory. So, when you are not certain about what you are wanting, you are not giving out a one-line direction. The energies at this time are becoming really very powerful, very highly charged. You are learning that there is a certain intensity of commitment that is going to be needed to lift yourself into higher states of consciousness. All of your thoughts count. If all of your thoughts are not lined up to your greatest intention, you are not going to get there, not in completeness. You will that need to learn how to trust yourselves, how to have a greater love for yourselves and, of course, much more joy. Learn to utilize the greater vehicles that you have to keep you within a balance so that you can move at these great speeds. When you do not have balance you are not going to move forward with acceleration. You will crash. Many of you have bumped the heads and bumped the psyches because you have gone after something that you thought that you wanted and have not understood the rules of the game. Or you have sabotaged your own rule making by thinking that you were not powerful enough or looking to others as being such great humanities, or thinking that you were not worthy of what you were after. The kicks you get out of talking about it, are more exciting, than it would be to manifest it. It is most interesting. What is happening on your planet at this time really makes it an in place to be. If there were a People magazine for the cosmos, the Earth's fear terror would be on the cover. And you all are stars. So, live it up be alive because that is what it is all about. Wherever you go and whatever state of consciousness you are in, there is going to be stuff to learn. As you learn how to utilize the rules here, then you would be changing the game for all of the other players. As you all become awake, you will be bucking the system. And you will be showing that the rules indeed have changed and that even the most minute forms of consciousness have figured out that they are like the gods.